Hello everyone, I'm fan of Thomas 31 Welcome back to my All Engines Go review series, where I review All Engines Go items. In the last episode, I reviewed a set of three motorized trains. In this episode, by popular vote once again, I'll be reviewing three more. But unlike the last ones, these trains have a lot to say. So let's get into them and listen in. Much like the regular motorized trains, talking trains are usually released in waves of three. Although unlike motorized trains, talking trains don't usually take inspiration from a specific episode for their packs, and instead throw in some miscellaneous cars that look good alongside the main engine. In this wave, we have Thomas, Kana, and of all characters, Whiff. We'll start with the most basic pack first, Thomas. Thomas has made quite a few rounds throughout the motorized talking range, with this being his second All Engines Go release, and his fourth release overall. From the front of the box, we can see him through a large bubble. The bubble has holes in it that let you access and test his talking feature. Number one blue engine! That's me! This Thomas comes pre-installed with batteries in order for this to work. The box also tells you about how each talking engine can interact with each other, and it shows some quotes you can expect Thomas to say. The front of the box stretches across the sides and top, with the bottom having all of the copyright information, and the back having a brief description about the Thomas, with a picture of a brief conversation with a separately sold train. One more thing I'd like to point out is that the box has these foldable holes that give stores the option to hang these trains on pegs if they find it more effective than just setting them on a shelf. Now then, that's the box covered, let's talk about the train. This is the train you get from the box, a single Thomas engine with two freight cars. There's also the instruction pamphlet, but these things are a dime a thousand, so I won't waste time talking about it. The Thomas is pretty standard as far as talking Thomases go. His mechanism makes him heavier than a regular Thomas, and he has some minor differences in his shape. He has a basic paint job, but with an exclusive smiling face. Unfortunately, the face on my Thomas seems to have been printed off-center, and there's this weird imperfection on the front of his smoke box. The roof of Thomas houses the button to activate him, and the back has holes in it to release the sounds made by the talking speaker. The coupler on this Thomas also has a star molded into it. I assume this is for service reasons so you know that this coupler is made specifically for the talking engines. As for the talking feature, this Thomas is full of different voice lines, some of which you can only hear around other engines. Number one blue engine! That's me! <laughs> I love delivering the mail. On my way. Bye, Percy. Bye, friend. Bye. And to those who are wondering, yes, he is compatible with the older CGI engines. Number five, red engine. Hi, James. Hello, friend. I'm the brightest red engine on Sodor. As fun as all of these interactions are, the system is very touchy, and rather unresponsive. Number one blue engine! That's me! Now the system could have been optimized specifically for the engines of this wave, so I'll come back to this later. He also makes noises whenever he starts and stops moving. One more thing to note is that Thomas's mechanism has these two triggers under the chassis that tell him when to start and stop moving. While in the box, a plastic insert holds both triggers up and keeps Thomas in a try me mode, where he won't try to move. Number one blue engine! That's me! When both triggers aren't held up, 
Thomas will start moving when you push the talking button and won't stop until you push it again. But if you have the correct stopping piece on your track, the stopper will activate one of Thomas's triggers and cause him to stop moving. And he won't move again until the stopper is lowered and the trigger is deactivated. A rather nifty feature, but I do wish the Thomas came with an official off switch. He's supposed to shut off automatically after not being used for a few minutes, but I've had cases of talking engines coming back to life on their own. Anyways, the two cars Thomas comes with are very basic. One is a flat car with blue wheels that comes with this tarpaulin cargo piece that doesn't actually conceal anything, and this blue hopper car that can be seen throughout the show. I do wish this pack came with something to put in the hopper though. And that's really all there is to Thomas. He's a very basic toy train, with his talking mechanism being the core play feature. He can talk just fine on his own, but he has a hard time interacting with other engines. Which is too bad, seeing as that was the main selling point of this train. All in all, I give this pack a 3 out of 5. A nice Thomas train, but his mechanism could use with a lot of refining. Kana is the next train. From the box, we can see that Thomas is advertised alongside her. Just as she was advertised with Thomas on his box. Out of the box, we can see this is the whole train Kana comes with. Despite being a main character, motorized variants of her actually aren't that common. She has a special lightning bolt pattern on her sides and an exclusive smiling expression. As a talking engine, her shape is very different from a regular Kana and one of her front lights does work. I like how they incorporated her talking light into the light she already has, but because it's only one, it makes her second light look a little awkward. Though working a second light into her mechanism would probably be very difficult, and I'm sure it would drain even more power from her batteries. Speaking of her mechanism, she has several sounds and phrases like Thomas. Something I noticed while using Kana is that her mechanism is very sensitive when it comes to certain stopping tracks. So make sure you're careful when it comes to which stopping pieces you use with her. But how does she interact with the other trains? I'm on it like a comet! <laughs> Hello friend! Not very well. It would seem that the talking Thomases only interact when they're on the move. A mechanism like this isn't very good, especially when you compare them to certain other talking train toys. As for what little response these engines do have, Kana will interact with other talking engines. Bye, After further testing, it would seem that the engines interact better at greater distances. One more thing that I feel is worth mentioning, that I forgot to mention with Thomas, is that I'm pretty sure the talking engines have different voices from the actual show. If you need speed, I'm the best! I do believe this is because the toys aren't made in the same place as the show, and that causes difficulties when getting voice lines for the characters. I don't find it that distracting, but I'll let you draw your own opinions on that. As for Kana's cars, they're almost exactly the same as Thomas's. Only their colors have been changed to match Kana's. She has a flat car with yellow wheels and a purple hopper car. Once again, the hopper comes with no cargo, but the flat car comes with a Sodor Cup trophy as seen in the Race for the Sodor Cup movie. This wouldn't be all that bad if we hadn't seen this trophy before, but this is the second time we've received the Sodor Cup in a motorized pack, and the fourth time across all of the All Engines Go toys. If it had been up to me, I wouldn't have given Kana these freight cars, and I would have instead given her some coaches, much like the ones we see her pull throughout the show. And that's all I have to say about Kana. 
So far, these talking engines haven't left a good impression, and Kana might be the worst one so far. Kana herself isn't all that bad, but the touchy interactive mechanism combined with her selection of rolling stock really makes this a weaker release. With all that said, I give Talking Kana a 2 out of 5. A rather weak talking train with a poor freight car consist. The last talking engine in this wave is Whiff. Whiff is one of the last engines I expected to see get a talking variant. After all, he's only had one other talking toy throughout all of Thomas' history. But I suppose it makes sense, seeing as Whiff has become a prominent character in All Engines Go. Whiff was not advertised on either Thomas or Kana's boxes, but here we see him alongside Thomas for the interactive demonstration. But once you've seen one box, you've seen them all, so let's just get to Whiff himself. When I first received the motorized whiff, he became an instant favorite. I'd say this whiff is a similar case. I can't really explain it, his shape is just so… friendly. He has an exclusive smiling face with smelly garbage printed along his sides. Although on this side, we could see a picture of his pet chicken, Penelope. There are a couple of details I find funny about this whiff. When compared to his regular release, he is missing his whistle but he has printed cab windows. The windows were probably added due to the higher budget the talking engines have, but for the whistle, I can only assume that was an error from when Whiff got retooled for this release. That, or they couldn't fit the whistle insert piece in front of his talking mechanism. As a talking engine, Whiff comes with several sounds and phrases. <laughs> Something interesting to note about Whiff is that he isn't programmed with a whistle sound. Instead, he makes these mechanical noises. <laughs> these noises tie into a play feature he has, but I'll talk more about that later. But how does he interact with the other engines? He's still not as responsive as I'd like him to be, but I think he's just a bit better than the others. Now for his wagons. Once again, Whiff comes with the same cars as Thomas and Kana. He has a gray hopper car, a car that actually appears in the show, and a flat car with black wheels. Now while the hopper car still doesn't have any cargo, the flat car's cargo is a very special piece. The cargo is a contraption that you can stick onto Whiff's funnel. In the show, Whiff wears this contraption as a special device that can turn garbage into fuel. A similar contraption appears throughout the show that changes the engine's smoke color. With that said, this piece can be worn by other engines. If you ask me, this cargo piece is the best part of this whole pack. And that was Talking Whiff. As I said earlier, Whiff is my favorite motorized character. And in this review, he has become my favorite talking engine as well. Despite the drawbacks of his talking system, he still has that friendly shape and an additional piece that doesn't compare to anything we've seen from this toy line in the past. With all that said, I give Whiff a 4 out of 5. A perfect release, if only it wasn't for his touchy mechanism. So, would I recommend the talking engines? With all things considered, not really. The more complicated systems on these trains makes them cost more than regular motorized packs, but the system is so touchy, it practically makes them not worth it. The saving grace of most of these packs was the rolling stock, especially with Whiff. His pack was worth it for that alone. Thomas comes with some less exciting cars, but they do still add to his pack. As for Kana, you should just skip her completely. You're not missing anything without her cars, especially if you have one of these three items. With all that said, I hope you found my review on these talking engines enlightening. 
If you want to see me review more All Engines Go Toys, leave a like on this video. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future Thomas content. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.